guys, so today I am filming my June favorites video. I know it's a little bit delayed, uh, but I wasn't sure I even had enough products to do one because I haven't done one for the past couple of months. I have come up with a couple of things and there's a little twist at the end. So the first product that I've been loving this month is my Maybelline Lash Stiletto Voluptuous Mascara. And I know when I first got this, I had said that I wasn't really sure if I liked it or anything and how I liked it for my bottom lashes but not for my upper lashes. I changed my mind. I know I also I have a review on this soon. I have a list of products I need to review and I'm just debating whether or not I should do a video review of it or a post. I don't really think it warrants having both. So let me know if you'd rather see something or read something. That would be appreciated. The next product, I have loved this since I bought it and it's so worth the $1.99 it cost me. And it's Wet n Wild's Red Lipstick in 519A. And that's what it looks like. Like true red, like bright in your face red. And it's so creamy and it smells good and it's just, I love it. The next is an eyeshadow that I've been reaching for recently. Uh, not to wear by itself, but whenever I make a smoky eye or I just want some depth to it. And it's one of my only MAC products. And it's Silver Ring, it's a Velux Pearl eyeshadow. And I love it. It's just a really, really great color. So I've been utilizing this a lot. So another product that I have been using a lot of recently is actually a powder that I've used as a bronzer. It's CoverGirl's Advanced Radiance in 120 Natural Beige. And I actually use this as a, as a contour. So that's what that looks like. And yeah, love it. I suggest if you guys don't want to go out and buy a bronzer, just get pressed powder that's probably like two or three shades darker than yourself. And then the scent that I've been wearing a lot this month, I'm not a huge perfume person. So this is Versace Bright Crystal. And I, this is my little sample size that I got off eBay back in like December. And I love it. It just, there's something about it. I can't even think to how to describe it. It just smells good. But this is what it looks like. So teeny tiny, cute little crystal on top. And this is what I've been reaching for whenever I'm getting a little dolled up to go somewhere. This product I hadn't got until late June. And it's the Pro FX Mineral Botanical Strengthening Polish. This is what it looks like. It was up in my recent haul and there was also a blog post on it. So far, I am really, really liking that. The next thing that I'm loving are these makeup wipes. These are Hard Candies brand. And they're less than $5 at Walmart. Don't really have a scent to them. They have a double seal. Uh, they've got like a sticky seal where you can pull the thing out and then the overall class, that way they don't dry out. If you're using these, I'd recommend storing them lid down. That way, if there is any moisture movement, the one that you pick up won't be dry. So keep that in mind. The next little bit that I'm gonna talk about are the polishes that I wore this month. And I think what I'm gonna do, um, in addition to uh, monthly favorites, if I have enough product to warrant it, I'm going to do a monthly polish, maybe not review, but just a video because of my Mandy Mondays, if you guys read my blog. So these are the polishes that I wore this month, and I loved all of them. Three of these polishes are from Julep. Uh, one of them is an OPI, and one of them is a Misa polish. First color I had was Hayden, and it's a neon peach, and I love this color. It was so so vibrant on my nails, my fingers were glowing. Next one I wore was Misa's Sun Kissed, and I think this is, it was such a dramatic change from Hayden, because it's a sheer kind of color, much, much more subdued, and it's a purple with a gold. Then the next two colors I wore at once, I had these two fingers in one color and the rest in the other, and it was Julep's Sandra, which is a nice frosty magenta, and Morgan, which is a frosted grape. You guys can check out the blog post I wrote on my Julep boxes from April to June for more details on them. Just squeaked in into June was my French manicure with a twist, and I used OPI's Kyoto Pearl, just a pearly white, as the tip, and I just used the strengthener as the background, and then I just did a top coat. So that's the end of my June favorites and my June polishes. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what some of your favorite products were from this month, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya!